Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you can see, I look like, I don't even know what I look like, but we're doing, I'm doing my hair, I said we, I guess we, because you guys are gonna watch it. Yeah, my hair is like, um, I'm not doing much with my hair lately, so that's why I feel like it's time. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a color and I'm also gonna cut it because my hair is kind of long right now and it's like, I'm due for a cut basically. So yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm really sorry if you guys hear someone mowing the lawn. I legit just like press play, I, like record and like somebody started. But like the thing is, I need, I have to do my color today. This is the day that I need to do it. And um, yeah, this is my hair right now. It's pretty bad, you guys. I'm at that point where like, I don't do anything with my hair. It's just always in the bun, which is not good. So it's like, might as well like uh, put the color and cut it and yeah i think i'm i think i'm ready to like wear the wig again it's still kind of hot outside although august hasn't been that great so yeah i don't know so yeah i have a few videos here and there on my channel i think i have a playlist like where i like hair playlist or something so you guys are probably gonna see them on that place if you guys want to go back so like usual i'm just doing like a brown like a dark brown that looks almost black on my hair um, um and i use joico you guys know also i use 10 volume because i'm not ready to commit to 20 um because if i do 20 volume i'm gonna have to do my hair like every four to six weeks and with the 10 volume i can just do it like i do my hair like what once once a year maximum twice a year something like that basically the deal is that, like if i do 20 volume it's gonna like lift my color so that like every four weeks gonna look like some kind of like reddish orange color which is gonna like make me do my color again uh well, but when i use 10 volume what happens is it just kind of fades so it just kind of go goes back to like my natural color so that's why I use 10 volume. Yeah, and I have everything. I have my gloves and everything. So this is all we're gonna do today. I have to like, um, it's a bit matted because yes, the last two weeks I've just been like, I've been in a mood where like I barely brush my hair. So you guys can like kind of understand what was going on and I need to cut my hair. Like my hair is like, uh, how long is it now? Like up to here now somewhere like that and I, need to, I needed to go back to like my sho shoulders yes I, I needed to go back to my shoulders so yeah that's what we're doing today like I said I'm ready to go back to the wig I washed it yesterday I kind of replaced I'm so stupid I kind of replaced some hair I thought it was the same hair as like the one that was already like sewn in but it's not because I washed it and the hair was like you can tell the texture wasn't the same so now I'm just like fuck and I don't know if this hair curled because you guys know I like to wear my hair wavy but it's all the back because all the back was like broken so like if this hair doesn't wave I'm gonna have to change it again but like it's the same color and everything it's just you can tell like it's like pin straight i washed it and it stayed pin straight when usually like the hair that i like like when i wash it it kind of has like a bit of like a natural wave to it not even a wave it's just like you can tell this texture to it this one is just pin straight as if like they put some kind of like relaxer in it i don't know so yeah and i'm so sorry about this i'm a bit like um i have a few pimples here and there and sorry for my voice i kind of just woke up well, not really, but like, I'm just, I guess my voice is just still raspy. So this is my hair now. We're gonna do my color and then after that, I'm gonna cut it. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna get ready today, but whenever I get ready, I'm gonna film it to you for you guys so you guys can see the full glow and everything. Yeah, this is a hair video again. Uh, aren't we excited? So yeah, I'm just gonna start because I don't want to spend all day doing my hair, so yeah, let's just start. Okay, so let's just get started. So the first thing I do is I basically separate my hair into a quadrant, so basically four different parts. I do two in the back and two in the front. Um, I just clip whatever section I'm not going to start with. Um, so basically I always start at the back also because it's just easier to like color the back and then 
like flip it over basically um, so that you don't it doesn't get in the way it's just easier to start with the bag basically so next I am going to put some Vaseline all around my my hairline so it doesn't stain too much um, that's just a little trick I know it's not foolproof but it does help if you guys feel like your uh, scalp does stain a lot just put a bit of Vaseline all around and then it will stain way less than if you don't put anything So after that, I start applying the color. I already did the back. I didn't show it because it's kind of hard to show on camera. Uh, basically, what I do is I basically what I do actually is I start from like the top, um, from the middle to my ear. Uh, hairdressers are gonna tell you that like you're supposed to go from the front or the back to the front or the front to the back, whatever. But for me, when I apply my own color, it's just easier for me to go from like the middle to the ear because all the time that I did it the other way, basically I would miss some spot. So when I do it this way, I don't miss any spots. So that's why I do it this way, okay? I'm also trying to take as thin as section as you can, obviously. I do most of my my uh, my roots, basically, and after that, that's when I am going to do the length. I make sure I put it everywhere and also I make sure that like I put the color on both sides like you guys can see me I'm like tracing and dividing and putting on both on both like sides of my divided hair um, yeah just make sure that like it's everywhere and then I go and I do um, all around that like quadrant just to make sure that like it goes everywhere and then after that is when I start um, dragging it down a little bit so it goes on my length so here you can see i did the other part like really quickly um i edited it out because it's the same thing basically and here you can see me that's when i start doing the length so basically what you want to do try to separate it as much as you can i mean i have thin hair so for me it's pretty easy but if you have thicker hair obviously like trying to like go section by section like divide that quarter into like maybe two or three and then um, put co more color into the length to make sure it's it's dragged down up until if you're gonna cut hair where you're gonna cut hair or like all the way to the ends um yeah it's just way easier like that and here i'm just making sure that like obviously like that little like part in the front is well covered and then when i'm done i just put it all up and then i make sure that like all around is really well uh, my hair does still cut the color really a lot um it depends on your hair type my hair like my roots are really curly so i just soak it up honestly um your hair should be more wet than this but if it's not it's fine um see this is how it looks when it's done you guys can see the difference it's way a darker it almost looks black on me like i said in the beginning because my hair is pretty much already dark so when i put like a 4n even if it's supposed to be dark brown it comes out like almost black but i like it like that because when it fades if it takes longer to fade so here i am going to start cutting my hair so basically when I cut my hair, I try to take the smallest section ever. I always start with the back or, or obviously, sorry. And um, yeah, I straighten my hair because my hair is a bit like curly, whatever, um, frizzy. So I make sure it's fully straight with a nice straightener. And then I just uh, take that section and cut it to whatever length I want to cut it. I have to say this is the shortest I ever cut my hair. Usually I cut like maybe an inch lower than this. I don't know what I was doing <laughs> honestly. I'm not mad at it honestly looking back and also it's been two weeks since I've been rocking my short hair. Um, I actually really love it. It's just that you know it's kind of a shock sometimes <laughs> you like cut so much and you're just like oh okay. But anyways um yeah this is the shortest my hair has ever been um right now i'm not mad at it but obviously when i was just i just cut it i was like oh my god but yeah this is what i do i basically take the smallest amount by small amount and then i cut and then whatever i add on i just cut to like whatever um 
the previous cut was and this is what I do because anyways when I cut my hair I want all my hair to be one length I want it to be like one bob one all one length and you guys will see at the end of me cutting my hair that like all of my hair are pretty much the same length now and this is what I always wanted that's why my hair you'll see looks way thicker than it did like maybe a year or two ago because of the way it's cut like the illusion kind of gives it um the cut gives that illusion and yeah because you guys can see my hair um, i always had like pretty thin hair and uh yeah this is how i wanted my hair and it's finally it's finally like that um yeah here i'm just cutting it again um i was just cutting and i was just cutting obviously my haircut is not super super straight but like i'm cutting my own hair like what you expect honestly um yeah i was just cutting it and cutting it and also like a little tip um when you go like when you're at that stage here you can always cut it a bit longer so the way it falls it kind of hides like if the under is not straight so yeah that's a little tip for you so you guys can see here i'm just cutting like the really a really small amount because my hair is pretty much the same length as the rest here right now and this is how it looks like here i'm just cutting my fringe a little bit um, i didn't really want to cut my fringe i maybe i could have just to like refresh the ends but the thing is i find my fringe to be like pretty long already so i'm just gonna leave it the way it is um that's why you guys can see me i'm just gonna cut like maybe maybe a centimeter or something like barely anything because i find my my fringe my bangs whatever it's already pretty long so i'm just gonna leave it like this and if it grows it grows if it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't really bother me that much so yeah this is why i just kind of framed everything really lightly so here i just gonna go back i'm just make sure that like my middle part is well like separated and then here i'm just gonna go back a little bit and take the scissors and uh, check whatever like strands of hair I feel like are a bit longer than the others um, It's a bit hard honestly doing your own hair, but like uh, that's how what I have to do um, Yeah um, Here I'm just going back and just making sure that like everything looks somehow straight somehow put together, you know uh, Looking back, I think this one side is a bit longer than the other one But anyways, I'm gonna start braiding my hair really soon anyways But like I said, I've been working my short hair for like two weeks now and I actually really love it This was me checking out the bag. I was happy enough And there's something about cutting your hair that just feels so light and just feels so nice You feel like so refreshed. I just fucking love it. It's just so nice. This is my hair now That's how my hair looks like right now and uh, I must say I really 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 love it. So yeah um yeah so after this i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup i'm gonna let you guys enjoy this part um don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you like my video and i'll see you next time guys see you soon bye
Thank you. 